Hi guys, it's the Macintosh Guide and I'm back again with a brand new video. Now today we're going to be looking at not just one, not just two, but three packages that have come from Music Magpie. Now this isn't a sponsored video of any sort, we're just going to be looking at how does refurbished mobile phones, aka iPhones in this instance, look in the current day market. Now, you might be wondering, what do you mean in the current day market? There's people out there who don't want to be spending, you know, the £1,100 on iPhone 15 Pro Maxes, and not everybody is interested in buying the latest and greatest iPhone or phone product. And a lot of people go into the refurbished market. Now, Music Magpie sell a bunch of iPhones and other manufacturers alongside with it. What we're going to be looking at is three iPhone 12 Pro Maxes and see how they are. Now, they were labelled as good condition, which means they will have scuffs and scratches, but we're guaranteed to have at least 80% or plus battery health on each of the iPhone. So let's go ahead, unbox these iPhone 12 Pro Maxes and see the condition of them and see if it's worth buying from not just Music Magpie but from other refurbished phone makers as well. So guys sit back, relax and enjoy this one. So let's look at the first one. Now as you can probably tell I already unboxed most of the, the actual packaging and we can see that it's layered just like this. So you get your SIM card tray opener right here. You've got the phone buried right in here and then you've also got the iPhone charging cable right inside. So let's just get the iPhone out of the box first and let's just see if we can pop this cable out. I believe I can actually just push this. Can I push this out? I should be able to just pop this out from here. There you go. And we've got, let's just get rid of the packaging for the time being. Very safe, secure packaging, I'd say. It was very tight inside. But let's just have a look at the charging cable. It's an Apple authentic one, lightning cable. As expected from Apple, it's the lightning to, to USB-C. Let's just put that to the side. And of course, you guys, you're interested in the iPhone 12 Pro Max, as you can see here. So you can see that there is some, it seems like this is just dust. Over here, these, these aren't scuffs on the camera, if you're wondering. I mean, there is a bit of scuffage right here. I don't think the camera's doing too much justice, but there is a lot of dust settling. And the biggest mark I see on the back is this one. I can't seem to just rub it off. So you can definitely see there's an issue there. But again, guys, it's a good condition iPhone. It's not very good or pristine. So I would, I'd be expecting that. Let's just have a look at the railing. Yeah, this, that's normal. You usually, on the iPhone 12 Pro onwards, this this was an issue. Was the the steel, the the casing around it was always going to be scuffed up. But again, expected for a good condition iPhone. Just have a look around. Yeah, seems to be the case. Uh, let's just see. So you can see from the light, there's a lot of scuffage happening around the phone there's nothing that indicates well the phone that's broken or anything along those lines and let's just try booting the iphone up and you guys can probably see me there looking like a homeless man recording with my iphone 14 pro max to shoot this video so let's just wait and see what happens here and we should just be getting into the phone so it seems like we've got ios 16 installed on this phone let's just swipe up and yep yeah, you can see the phone there's no damage on the screen or anyway there's no cracks or anything like that so the phone is functioning let's just quickly set up the phone and just check that we can definitely see the os version of the device So we've now booted into the first iPhone 12 Pro Max's screen 
as you can see it's running ios 16 it seems like let's just quickly have a look at the version it's really telling us to finish up our mobile device and mobile service which we're not going to do right now and we can see right here it's running ios 16.1.1 .1, so it's actually an early stage of ios 16 this phone was traded in and it's an iphone 12 pro max and the serial numbers etc which i hope none of you guys steal so let's go back in there let's just have a look camera and everything is working as expected yeah continue and it seems to be working just fine as well so everything seems to be functioning just as it's meant to be and let's just look at the battery health of the device so it's showing us 30 percent on the top let's look at health it's an 86 percent so it's promises as what music map i've said so that's the first iphone guys let's have a look at unboxing the other two iphone 12 pro maxes i'm not going to show you guys the setup for the other two don't worry about that just one more thing guys before i move on to the next video there's a little chip here if the camera could notice it it's the only chip huge chip i see on the phone but everywhere else the condition seems to be pretty good for a, for a good condition iphone i think this is a I think it's a, it's okay to buy. I no issues with him. Music might probably be honest with, with what they're selling in this first iPhone. So now let's look into getting the second one unboxed. So this should be straightforward as normal. One tab. And it should just be a simple case of pulling this along the entire side. As we just done here. And it should be the same mechanism. It's very sticky, that's for sure. Where we see the iPhone. So have I messed, have I messed something up? Yes, I have. There you go. Very, very sticky. And we now, in this one, have the iPhone facing the other way around. So that's interesting. Again, I can see the, there's the accessory for the... For the phone to unlock the sim card and then there's also the light the lightning cable sorry just hit the camera by accident over here let's just put this to the side because i'm not too interested in that for the time being let's just have a look at the phone so this one guys from the back looks very very good you can see that the camera lenses are all clean there's no seem to be any scuff marks on the back at all Apple logo is quite clear as well. So, so far the back is good. So the main question is how does the front look? And in all honesty, guys, because there's a few scuffs here and there on the sides. It actually looks very good. Um, which is quite surprising for a condition that says it's good. I'm just having a look at all the sides. Is there anything that we notice? Let's just look at the casing. The casing's very clear as well. There's not that many marks here, you know, usual wear and tear, I'd say. Oh, there seems to be some discoloration happening right here, but again, nothing major that's affecting the phone. Just checking if there's any scuff marks anywhere. No, just pretty spotless, guys. This phone is quite spotless, so let's just boot it up. If it does, see app logo. So let's just wait. What happens here? But very, very clean, very immaculate, I'd say. So guys, we've booted back into the op to the iPhone now, and this one has already got a warning message. So let's see what that's all about. So important camera message. So that's interesting. So unknown part. Unable to determine if your iPhone camera is a genuine part, Apple part, this could be because the part is non-genuine or not functioning as expected, or the installation is incomplete. So let's just have a look at the, at the camera. So it's very weird. And let's just see if we did iPhone, iOS 16.3.1, 12 Pro Max. Let's look at the health. So that's not a good sign, is it? But the part apparently is showing up as non-genuine. But what's odd is Face ID seems to work. So if I set up my iPhone, it puts me in the camera position. Let me just see if I can. There you go. So it picks it up. First scan complete. 
Don't use face mask. Okay, so it is done. Let's just do use anyway. So let's just lock the device. Works as expected. So why would Face ID work if the camera is show if the camera's not showing up as genuine? I'll have a look up at that, but that's one iPhone that shows up as an error. So that's very interesting. Let's move on to the final iPhone, guys. So guys, we're on the last iPhone and it's a dud. So we get the same message again. It's talking about an important camera message, unable to determine if your iPhone camera is genuine Apple part. Go to settings or information. So let's press settings. And it's the same error message as what the previous one was. Now this device is running iOS 17.1.1. And let's just quickly have a look at the battery health. And the battery health is on 85%. So out of the three iPhones, two iPhones are showing this, I think this camera er error. But again, weird thing, guys. It, it works. The camera, everything works absolutely fine. The video recording works. The true depth seems to be working. The ability to do 4K quality video recording is working fine. Audio is fine. Everything from the camera is working just fine, but we're seeing this error message. So what's going on? Not sure. I had a look online on a couple of forums and they all mentioned that Apple seems to have changed um, the way parts are being recognized and obviously Apple needs to do some, some checks. Now in this instance, no parts were actually changed, it seems like. Everything seems to be authentic. There doesn't seem to be any problem, but iOS 16 apparently caused a lot of problems for iPhone 12 onward users. Some 14 Pro devices were also showing the same thing and Apple have not really addressed it as properly as they should have. So out of all the three phones we received, two phones give us the same message. Now, in terms of the quality of this third phone, guys, it's pretty much just, it's got scratches here and there. I wouldn't say it's anything catastrophic. You're paying for a good device you're getting a good device i would say but this parts issue i think is a huge huge issue um apple really should just allow you to replace your parts um and authorize them i have spoken with music magpie uh to see if what they can comment i know on their website they state that they do provide phones that have this message however let us see if they would just replace the device with something that it's not showing the message. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. We've got more videos coming up, but I just thought let's just do an interesting video of how these refurbished iPhones work.